Right, we've got a special dish today which we've created for Ray, and it's a roux stew. So hopefully he likes kangaroo. Well, yeah, hopefully. Might be sick of it, actually. <laughs> right, so we've got this beautiful uh, kangaroo meat, which is uh, readily available in New Zealand now. So this is from the leg. So we're going to make a stew out of it. It's perfect. You know, we need to cook it for a long time. We've got some nice flavours in there. We've got some beer in there, some stock in there. We've got some onions and potatoes and some nice herbs. So really simple. But the key to any good stew to get the flavour in there is to brown your meat. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're just going to chop this into nice chunks. Don't, it doesn't need to be too small. And then we're just going to toss it through some flour, some seasoned flour. And that's going to help us get some colour um, onto the meat. And also, as the stew cooks, it's going to slightly thicken through that flour. So just a little bit of salt and pepper. If you're gluten free, you could use rice flour here. That's fine. So just toss it, just make sure you shake the excess um, flour off and then a bit of oil into a hot pan. So casserole pan, we're going to cook everything in one pot, get it hot, pop it in. So you want to hear that sizzling. And because we've got quite a lot of kangaroo here, I'm not going to put it all in one go, otherwise we'll lose the heat in the pan and it will just stew and we don't want that, it's going to make the meat tough. So. You know, I'm just going to go with that, and you might have to do it in two or three lots, but it's well worth the wait. So I'm going to continue browning this stew. I'm going to come back a little bit later, and we're going to put it all together, and we've got a nice little twist for the top. Welcome back. In honour of uh, the wonderful Ray Ma being on the cafe, we're back in the Mastercraft kitchen with Mark, and you are cooking up some classic Aussie fare. It's it's kangaroo, isn't it? Kangaroo, yeah. I've never eaten that. What about you? Do you eat much kangaroo? Mate, I was a bit worried when you said you were doing roux stew. My daughter on home and away is called roux. roux. <laughs> and someday she'd like to stew, but no, I don't think she'd appreciate it. She's a wonderful girl, and uh, I was a bit worried. But no, no, I, no, I haven't eaten there. a lot of roux. You haven't eaten no. a lot? No. no. Well, we could have done flame and galah, couldn't we? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where are we at? What are we up to? Right, so we've browned the roux in there, so just lightly uh, seasoned it in flour, and we're browning it, so we're getting that beautiful colour. Uh. Right. <laughs> yeah, beautiful colour, eh? It gets Mate, better. Don't you put the lid on? It could hop out not, of there. Not... <laughs> <laughs> No, and you'd have to be careful too, because kangaroos, they're pretty tough, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, if you yeah. cook them right, they're nice. I've never tried it too much, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, it's really lean. It's really lean and right. it's quite yeah. gamey as well. So, so, you know, whatever you can do with venison, you can do with roux. Uh -huh. So, just got some uh, onions going in there now. Yeah. And some garlic cloves. We'll leave them whole. So, nice and chunky. Just going to start sweating that down. And then we're going to pop a, a bouquet garni in there. A who? A, a bit. Bouquet garni. <laughs> bouquet, I have no yeah. idea. Right? You know what that is? Could be an old sock as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than an old sock. Is it? Oh, good. Well, so basically, it's like a roll of herbs. Uh -huh. so, you, so you could get your herbs and you could chuck them all in, but then as you're eating the stew, you, get, you know, you're going to be eating bits of uh, rosemary stalk and bits and bobs, right? So to combat that, get a bit of string mm -hmm. and then just build up your herbs. So we've got some bay leaves, some rosemary, some marjoram there and a bit of thyme. And is that how you turn a bunch of herbs into a bouquet garni? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's well, there it. You go. It's, it's a French thing. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> you know? I bet you, you thought you'd never come to New Zealand and learn how to, learn how to make one of those. No, I didn't. No. I didn't. And I'll be doing it every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it in a cup of tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Healthy. Okay, well, so that's it. Just tie it up. Nice. It all stays together, and then we'll just pop that in a bit later. Nice yeah. work. So, speaking of you know, you coming to New Zealand to do Priscilla, we're going to talk to you very soon, and a lot of questions to ask you. Is this, you know, when you're doing something like a show, is this what you call a holiday, even though you're working? Will you think it's a break? Yeah, look, I will think it's a break. Um, we do eight shows a week, of course, yeah. uh, six nights and two matinees. But, look, it's, it's just so different. And the other thing, I suppose, is, you know, uh, you don't have to learn a whole pile of new lines every day. Hopefully you, you say the same ones every night. Yeah, uh, yeah hopefully. <laughs> I mean, are you fond of New Zealand? Look, much I've, time here? I've only been over here uh, a few times, and sadly, they were to see the Wallabies get flogged by the All Blacks. Okay. So I'm really looking forward <laughs> to coming back here in a winner, and, mate, Priscilla is a, a winner. winner. It is right. fantastic. Yeah. No, it is. No, I'm really looking forward to that show. It's going yeah. to be fantastic. Um, okay, back to the cooking. Yep. What right, so, so the onions are just sweated down, so it's just softened. We've got some black peppercorns going in there, and we've got some whole grain mustard as well. I thought you were going to make about, Ray eat that. What about <laughs> the bouquet? Or the bouquet? <laughs> it goes in at the end. So. Oh, right. I well, when, when we cook it, yeah. Right. Okay, cool. So that goes in there. Give it a little stir around. It's smelling good, actually. Yeah, it does yeah. whatever. And then some dark beer. Ooh. Oh. Aussies like a bit of beer. 
Well, yeah, I suppose so. Uh... Oh, you'd be more... I think you'd be a wine man. I, I, well, no, I think it's just a waste to throw it in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm worried you, about that. Do you do much cooking at home? No, mate. I, I cook a leg of lamb or a, a steak or, right. a, you know, bacon and eggs or something. All the, all the simple, basic survival things mm -hmm. I can cook. Right. Yeah, but, no, but no nothing fancy. I'm not into bouquets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we'll bring that to the boil, and then we've just got a bit of beef stock as well. So we'll pop that in. Beer and beef stock. Oh. That's it. So that's your, that's your base of it. And then you've got your bouquet garni, which we'll pop in. How long will that take, Mark, roughly? Well, probably about an hour and a half to two hours. The oh. slower, the better. I hope you've you got a bit of time. Move it along a bit. <laughs> <laughs> TV time will speed it up for you. And then, no, you're not trapped here that and, long, way. Yeah. And then we'll just put some potatoes in there. And then they'll all just slowly cook together. The potatoes and the flour at the beginning, um, when we're browning the meat, that's going to help thicken the stew. Mm -hmm. And then once it's cooked, now you can do it slowly on the stovetop or in the oven. And then once it's cooked, we're going to slice some bread, grate some cheese over it, and just pop it back under the grill. So you've got these different layers. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I'll nice. take your word for it. It sounds great. <laughs> yeah, no, it does sound great. Can't wait to taste that. And we'll come back with you very soon and talk okay. more about why you are coming back to New Zealand. To look forward to tasting this. If you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. OK, let's get over to the Mastercraft kitchen as Mark's been making a roux stew in honour of our very special guest, Ray Ma. How's it looking? It smells great. We are finished. It's just come out of the oven now. You can see the bread's toasted, the cheese is melted, and it's oh. sucked all that uh, oh. yeah. Yeah. into Ooh. the bread. They're almost like a, a, a cheap, easy, um, cheap dumpling, really. Do you want right. to try it? Yeah, I'd love yeah, to well, bring you it do over. Right. Try it. Yes, we do want to try it. Yeah. Stupid oh. question, really. Yeah, exactly. Right, look at that. Right. <gasps> Yum! Serve, serve up for you now. Oh. Yeah, what's on the menu tomorrow, my friend? Right, so I've got Josh Barlow in the, in the kitchen tomorrow, and right. we are cooking venison together. Oh, nice. Okay.